Today we're going to talk about one of the most common issues I see with new React developers and that is with fetching data. I'm going to go through the basic errors you may encounter and how to fix them and the best four step process that's going to make sure you don't run into these problems again. Right now. What's good people? Welcome to Raw Codes. I'm Rasheen. I want to help you code something awesome. Today we're going to talk about a common issue and a super basic issue I see with people getting into React. And it, it starts with people trying to fetch data from an API and uh, how to handle that in React. And it, see, it sounds very simple, um, but there's a lot of steps that a lot of people miss when they're jumping into this. So I wanna kinda of walk through a basic example here and, and kinda of show you the pitfalls that come with making assumptions about uh, how React works and how it's gonna receive your data. So let's look at this code sample here in Code Sandbox. And I'm just using the dog.ceo API, which is a free API you can play around with. Um, it has, I have the API URL here that just gives me an image of a random dog. And I also have the response here in the comments. Basically the response is gonna be an object with, well, it's gonna be JSON uh, with a message property that is the URL of a link uh, the source attribute for the tag, and then it tells you what the status is. So uh, here's our app component, and we have our state, which is going to hold our dog data that we're getting from the API. We have a use effect, which fetches the uh, dog data from the API URL. It gets that response, flips out the JSON into some data. We put that data into our component state with the set dog data. And finally, we have an image tag. We try to get that image source from dogdata.message. And lo and behold, we cannot read property message of undefined. Now, why would this happen? I have fetched the data. I know I'm going to receive an object with a message attribute that is the source for this image. So it should be giving me the actual source for the image that goes here. And I am setting that into my state. So I should have dog data dot message as the image source. So why are we getting an issue here? Well, I have made a horrible assumption. And that assumption is that React is going to wait for this use effect to run and set my state, my initial state. It is not going to do that. React does not care about what I'm trying to do here. React is trying to render this application as quickly as possible. So I've set my use state default value as what? Who knows what that is? It is undefined. So dog data is undefined at the beginning of all of this. The use effect gets hit. This stuff is happening. This is asynchronous. So this does not, nothing is waiting for this to occur. It's asynchronous. It happens uh, while we're going to continue rendering this uh, JSX here. So we're going to get hello react. We're going to get our image source rendered. Dog data is what? Undefined. So undefined dot message is not correct. So what do we need to do? Most common fix is going to be, let's set a valid default value for our, our state right? So we know that dog data is going to be some type of object. Let's put an object there. Boom. Now we get a cute doggy rendered on the page, right? However, this is kind of a, you know, we, we're getting this object. We're getting dog data dot message, which is now valid, right? So initially though, this, this is a, an empty object and I have some real cute doggies in real life that are trying to ruin my video. Shh. Hey, shut it up. Shh. So I'm setting dog data to an empty object. So in my, in my code, what ends up happening is I'll actually at some point have an empty object dot message that does get rid of the error I was receiving, but it still doesn't provide the best experience. As you can see, when this initially is set to an empty object dot message, it's still not a valid image source. So I'm going to get a broken image on my page. All right. So how do we fix that? Well, let's put this back. 
and we can actually also see it every time the page loads you you see a flash of a broken image there it's very horrible so what can we do to fix this right well a better option is to think about the states that are going to happen uh, when our app initially loads so there's actually uh, four states that I can think of that are going to happen pretty much any time you're going to load data asynchronously in your React application. The first state is you haven't done anything yet. And that is the state where we end up with a completely broken image. We have not tried to do the fetch yet, or we haven't tried to get any data. So we end up with the default value. We get a broken uh, image source tag, breaks the whole app. We try to fix that by putting an empty object here. So that sort of handles that situation. But then we're still getting this flicker um, where we don't have any data yet. So this, the piece that we're missing is the second state, which is we're still trying to fetch this data. So that fetch has been called and it's in progress. So what we can do is add a loading state to our app so that the user can see that something is happening while that fetch is happening in the background. So let's add a state variable for loading. And initially that's gonna be true, right? And then we can do something like this. We can say if loading, we'll just return, wow. I can code, but I can't spell, so chill. All right, so if we're loading, we're gonna render loading. So now in our API code, when we receive some data, we've successfully received data. Let's, let's break this out. We're gonna set dog data to the data and then we're gonna set loading to be false. So now when we refresh our app, you see loading and then you see that we have our, our image. Now, obviously this isn't a uh, pretty version of, of how this should work. You should probably have a way better layout than this, but it just gives, I just wanna give you the logic that you should follow. One thing to think about, you'll see that I did not do some type of weird uh, ternary in my JSX here where we have the loading state. Uh, often you'll see like, you know, we'll come into the JSX and we'll do like loading, then something. And then do the thing, right? I didn't want to do that because it just makes it more complex to me to try to jam everything inside the JSX with a ternary when you can just have multiple returns. It's just way more clear to me. Say for instance, we wanted to add an error state, we can actually just add another return for the error state and then we can have each separate section of JSX uh, clear. And um, it, it's just more, more, more uh, obvious uh, what is happening in your application. So um, there's two other states that we wanna consider when fetching from an API. Um, and just to review, the, there's four total. The first one, we haven't done anything yet. The second one, um, we're, we're getting somewhere. We're doing the operation. It hasn't told us anything yet. We're waiting. The third is we have succeeded to get some data. And that is where we are when we actually see the dog on the screen. That means we have succeeded. There is a fourth state um, that is often forgotten and we're not covering it here either. And that is that we get an error. In that case, uh, you'd wanna do a catch of some kind you'd get an error and then you could set error to, wow, what is that? And you could set the error, you'd add a state variable for that. Um, I'm not gonna cover how to handle that in this case, but um, you actually could, uh, you could simplify this a bit. You don't, you don't really have to know what exactly the error is to handle this. So let's do something like this. All right, and then we can, if we're loading, we'll do this. If there's an error, 
We don't care what it is. It's probably some type of error object. We don't need to get into that right now. But we could just render there, there was an error. So if for, if for, for any reason there an error pops up, at least we're handling that case. Even if it's just to troubleshoot while in development, we can go ahead and render uh, to ourselves that there's an error and then decide how to handle that better later on. You could even just make this a console log and see what that object is, what the API gives you when there's an error. Um, there's actually one more uh, little option you can do for a to handle your, your states. Uh, as far as fetching from the API. And this is what I like to do. It is optional, um, but you can just rely on the fact that the initial value of a loo of a, <laughs> the initial value of a use state is undefined. So if we assume that initially dog data is undefined, I can take that into my logic for my JSX. Instead of looking for a loading state, um, I can just look for dog data to be undefined. So that allows me to get rid of this loading state, right? And we're getting the error because, because we had, okay, that was a temporary error from code sandbox from editing the file. Let's refresh here. All right. So now you can see that even without a uh, explicit loading state, I can still look at the default value of dog data being undefined and just say, okay, if it's undefined, we're still loading, right? Then if there's an error, we can handle that. That's set uh, here in our, let me format that out in our catch. If you're using async await, it doesn't matter. I, I usually avoid async await inside of use effect because it usually looks weird, but um, I don't want to define an entire function in here, but it doesn't matter either way. The logic is the same. Uh, apply it to how you like to code. And then once we do get the data, we render a cute little dog. So now we don't get this flash. We, we have our loading state, which obviously would be way cuter than this. If this was a real application, but just for the sake of, of what we're doing here, um, so once again, the four states, you haven't done anything yet. You're in the process of waiting on the data to return. You have received the data or you receive an error. It's four things you need to consider when you're fetching data. You won't get any of these weird errors that usually pop up that confuse people when they're first getting started. And this should help you jump over a big hurdle in uh, considering the logic of your components. And this works uh, outside of just fetching data. Just think about how your component is going to work when you're using a use effect or some other side effect. Um, you have to consider, um, you know, where what's going to be happening at any given time to make sure that you're catching those conditions. That's all for today, people. So glad you stopped by. As always, peace.